like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have Man bad down. luck for the that rest of the week. Wolves are distant relatives of dogs, and while dogs are loved and petted by everyone, wolves are rarely domesticated, and there's a good reason behind it. In this video, we will look at some of the reasons why no one has wolves as pets, but before we get into that, we will also look at some animals that just don't make good pets at all. Number 10. Big Cats in 2012, estimates for the number of privately owned big cats ranged from 10,000 to 20,000, and currently, the number of tigers living in captivity greatly outnumbers those that are still living in the wild. Yes, it's crazy as it sounds. The total number of wild tigers is around 3,900, and in the U.S. alone, there is an approximate 5,000 tigers in captivity. Thus, owning a big cat as a pet is a conservation nightmare. The requirements of a big pet cat involve splitting up a cub from its mother, which is incredibly traumatic for them both. The mother may also be kept in captivity and forced to undergo this painful separation over and over. However, some big cats in the big cat pet trade are also taken from the wild, which is terrible for conserving big cat populations. Furthermore, while the cub may start out small and cute, they grow up to be quite large. This is a problem because many people cannot provide an appropriate amount of space for these animals and big cats are predators. As the big cat grows larger and more stressed out, likely suffering from zoocosis, they could attack and overpower someone who approaches them. Because these cats have been raised around humans, they can never be released back into the wild, which further debunks any conservation excuse that private big cat owners try to use. Number 9. Chimpanzees and Other Primates from Ross's pet monkey on Friends to Tarzan's sidekick Cheetah, has Hollywood left you with the notion that pet primates can be fun? Well, in the real world, there are a number of reasons it's not a good idea. These independent and highly intelligent creatures become bigger, stronger, and harder to manage over time. They can carry everything from parasites and ringworms to life-threatening Ebola, Marbug, and rabies viruses. Chimpanzees are terribly dangerous and powerful animals, as proven in multiple tragic attacks. Furthermore, if you are thinking of owning a chimp as a pet, you might as well just go ahead and have a baby. You're that close. Though a number of states prohibit the possession of apes and monkeys as pets, such as California and Georgia. Many Americans continue to bring them into their homes. Number 8. Most birds. Most birds fly. It's the first association most people would make when they think of a bird. Sadly, people who decide to keep birds as pets leave them in cages for their whole lives. It's also a common practice in Asian countries to buy birds with clipped wings so that the bird can no longer fly. Even though this means that the bird might not be kept in a cage all day, every day, they still have to suffer an unnecessary and traumatic loss. Plus, many birds that people choose to buy as pets are endangered and smuggled in extremely inhumane conditions. In captivity, birds suffer from stress, loneliness, and premature death. They are complex beings who need more stimulation than they can get from perched in a small cage or hopping around someone's room. Number 7. Kikaju These small rainforest-dwelling animals may be cute, but making one your pet is a bad idea. Kingaju are wild animals and have been known to scratch and bite or injure their owners. In fact, when 16-year-old Jada Thurman recently showed up in a hospital in Chattanooga, Tennessee, complaining of terrible stomach pain, severe headaches, and a high fever, her doctors had a hard time finding a diagnosis for her until they figured out the culprit, her aunt's pet Kingaju which bit her the day before. Soon enough, her doctors discovered that the kinkajou carried a bacteria, Kingala potus, which triggered Thurman's symptoms. Beyond the health risks for humans, owning a kinkajou is bad for the animal too. Replicating their rainforest environment can be pretty tricky, and their strange surroundings can increase their risk of disease and ruin their quality of life. Number 6. American Black Bear 
No one would want to keep this animal as a pet, but just for the sake of this list, let's look at why you shouldn't have a huge black bear roaming around your backyard. Despite the fact that bears can weigh over 1,500 pounds when fully grown, some people still feel they can make it cute and cuddly. Yes, bear cubs are adorable, but they don't stay small for long. They soon will tower over you when standing on their hind legs, and they can knock you over and even kill you with a swift blow from their paw. You might laugh, but people have kept bears around the world, but with deadly consequences. Number 5. Arctic Fox <sighs> Damn it, these are adorable. But as popular science explains, when it comes to keeping foxes as pets, it is important to know these animals may be tamed, but they are not domesticated. Tamed animals have been trained to live with humans. Domesticated animals have been bred for centuries, perhaps, to live with humans. Tamed animals are always going to be more dangerous. It's not quite like owning a dog. A fox isn't a cool looking dog, it's a different animal with different behavioral quirks. Foxes are highly intelligent and because of that they are ridiculously curious. They are better suited for an open environment instead of staying in a home and not doing anything. It may result in causing depression to the poor fox, which is never a good idea. Number 4. Venomous Snakes Do we even have to explain why this is not a good idea to keep a venomous snake as a pet? But let us humor some of you and give you a valid explanation. You do know that some of these venomous reptiles can kill you with one bite, right? Granted that most of them don't have venom strong enough to make you prematurely meet your maker, but there are plenty of other reasons why you shouldn't put one on a leash and take it out for a walk. Some types of venom, although they can't kill you, can give you a host of other problems, which include, but is not limited to searing pain, muscle cramps, disorientation, organ damage, and necrosis, which is a condition wherein your flesh literally rots away in front of you. That's why people who keep venomous snakes exercise extreme caution when handling them. They also have to be kept in escape-proof cages because if they do somehow manage to escape, you aren't only endangering the lives of your family, but also that of your neighbors, and I'm pretty sure they won't appreciate that. Number 3. Seahorses Have you always dreamed of having your own seahorse? Potential buyers need to think about the larger implications. Hundreds of thousands of seahorses are traded live from the Philippines, Indonesia, and elsewhere to consumer markets in the United States. Increasingly, young animals are captured and traded, significantly and adversely impacting the wild population and its long-term viability. These exotic pets may pose little risk to humans, but they also offer little reward. Have you ever watched a seahorse in an aquarium? The seahorse's idea of fun is to hang on a plant and not let go for as long as possible. It's best to let them stay in their habitat and just let them be. Number 2. Ostriches Despite how they look, ostriches aren't overgrown chickens, so letting one run loose in your backyard isn't really a good idea. Believe it or not, it's pretty easy to own one as a pet. You just need to know where to get one. They are literally hundreds of ostrich farmers operating in the US today, and they sell ostrich chicks for a price lesser than some breeds of dogs. Plus, feeding them isn't expensive at all, but why isn't it a good idea to keep one as a pet? Two things. They can be aggressive, and they can kill a person if they wanted to. Those talons are the worst of your worries. Large and sharp, the ostrich uses them as a weapon, and coupled with their powerful, world-renowned kicks, it's bad news for anyone of these creatures who suddenly decides they want to attack you. Number 1. Wolves Finally, at the top of our list we have wolves. While wolves and dogs may seem quite similar physically, their behaviors and dispositions are entirely different. Humans have kept domesticated dogs for thousands of years, whereas wolves have remained in the wild. Thus, they have developed different instincts that make them better suited for each environment. While wolves' more predatorial and aggressive behaviors may not be as apparent while they are young, the tendencies will become more pronounced with age. Raising a wolf from when they are a puppy won't stop these instincts from coming through. Because wolves do not exhibit the dog-like behaviors that people hope for, they are relegated to being chained up outside. This is especially sad considering that wild wolves walk or run up to 100 miles every day. 
Furthermore, there aren't any approved rabies vaccines for wolves, so they usually get euthanized if they are surrendered or confiscated. Even if they are lucky enough to end up in a sanctuary, which is the best possible outcome for wolf breeds as pets, they still can never return to the wild. Some people have started getting wolf dogs, assuming that they'll get the look of a wolf and a dog's attitude. However, this is often not the case. Thus, these poorly bred wolf dogs suffer just like a wolf does when it is kept as a pet. Would you want to keep any of these animals as pets? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.